he took the race out from the from the gun and never looked back. He won that race, uh, very strong, big dude. Look who is running now for a brand new running watch company, Jason Schlarb. Now, if you're not plugged into the ultra running world, you may not recognize that name. Uh, Jason is easily, I would say, personally, my opinion, a top three ultra runner in the United States, and he's very accomplished globally as well. He, when I raced the Run Rabbit Run 100 mile race in Steamboat Springs, Colorado last September, he took the race out from the, from the gun and never looked back. He won that race, a uh, very strong, big dude from Durango, Colorado. Like he's just a burly ultra runner. Like I, I, was, I was standing next to him at the starting line and I was just kind of like peering up at him, like looking at his tree trunk legs. Anyway, he is very accomplished and listen to what he wrote yesterday on Instagram about this new running watch company. Here we go. I'm very happy to announce my partnership with Coros Global. That, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Why? This young slash new brand is making a superior product. Light, accurate, simple, crazy long lasting battery life, supporting our sport and is supporting our sport by getting behind both events and athletes right here in the USA and abroad. Uh, he goes on to say, I've run with the leading brand GPS watches for decades and without any hesitation, I prefer Koros and recommend it to any runner or mountain enthusiast. That's a pretty, like, that carries a lot of weight for me personally. And hey, I'll just I'll just help out Koros right now. He goes on to say, use Koros-Jason Jason for a free bonus watch band, any color. Why did Jason's ringing endorsement of Koros jump out at me? One word, simple. I don't know. I have actually I've seen one of the one of their watches in person, and it did appear to be pretty simple to use. But I am, and I know this might surprise some of you. I'm not a tech guy, and I know I upload a daily video to YouTube, so you might think I'm really tech savvy. I am not. I like to keep my life as simple as possible, especially when it comes to technology. And yes, that is why I am currently using a five-year-old uh, GPS running watch. That is ancient in GPS running watch technology terms. This is the Sun 2 Ambit Peak 3, purchased three years ago off Craigslist for $100. You better believe it. I was pinching pennies real bad, uh, just trying to save money for the family. And so I got this off of Craigslist and it served me very, very well for three years. The reason I got this Sun 2 Ambit Peak 3, which I believe is a company out of Finland. Any any Finnish viewers out there, if you could confirm that, I, I'm pretty sure it's Finland. Uh, so this watch, I bought this for a mountain adventure. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Nolan's 14. It's basically a, a mountain running adventure through the Rockies here in Colorado. Uh, it's, it's almost a hundred mile. It's not a race. It's like a, it's a hundred mile adventure run uh, where you climb, I believe you climb something like 50 to 60,000 feet of vertical. Oh, I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I've researched, but anyway, I needed a watch that could hold a battery life for over 60 hours. And this, I landed on this guy and it served me so so well but now as i transition from you know big mountain running to marathon training and listen i'm not giving up on ultra running trust me but it's probably going to be a little ways down the road before i attempt another adventure like nolan's 14 or another 100 mile race where i raced against jason last year uh so that means i am in the market for a running watch that is a little lighter, a little more nimble, and yes, frankly, a little more simple to use. The interface on the Sun 2 isn't bad, and guess what? I have zero experience with Garmin. So probably, and correct me if I'm wrong, the two leading watch makers in the ultra running and trail running world would have to be, and I might, don't quote me, because I'm not a tech guy, but would be Garmin and Sun 2. Obviously, you know, I do know some people that run with a Nike watch, the Apple watch, uh, Polar, right? And correct, you're right, Polar, I believe, is the other company. And now I continue to see more and more people using this new company on Strava called Koros, spell, spelled C-O-R-O-S. I, I like information, but I'm not, I definitely don't want to get dragged down too much by too much data. 
All right, and yes, keyword data. Uh, I, uh, I struggle with data sometimes, and that's why I don't train with a heart rate. I, I train by feel. I, li I, just, I listen. I try to listen as best as possible, but I do get a little curious every now and then when I hear people on Strava talking about, uh, what is it, watts, uh, power meter, uh, stride length, uh, obviously cadence is, I can do cadence with this watch, uh, but it does pique my interest a little bit, especially run, when I'm running up 14,000 foot mountains, like how do, I don't even understand the technology. I really don't because again, it's outside my wheelhouse and that is why I am fascinated to read your comments from this question of the day. What running watch should I really, really look at for marathon training and yes, I would be using it for uh, ultra running and trail running, not 100 mile races, more like marathon races on the trails and 50Ks. And then, you know, of course, like the Pikes Peak Ascent. Um, so I'm not looking for a watch that can like go for 100 hours, but a watch that is good for, tra for marathon training and then also can transition to the trails pretty well. So good vertical, you know, tracks vertical really well. So if you could help me out, I would truly appreciate it. And who knows, the goal is that if you are in the market for a running watch as well, uh, go down into the comments and just start reading, typing back, asking questions, and let's get a conversation going because I'm not the expert, all right? Uh, I'm learning with you, and this watch has served me so well for three years, but frankly, it is a little heavy. In fact, I'll try and weigh it for you and put the weight on the screen right now, uh, but I, am, I, just, I would like a watch watch that is just a little lighter, especially for fast, like tempo days, threshold days and intervals for the marathon training block. All right. Thank you for watching. That was fun to talk about something that was, you know, a little outside of my wheelhouse, not running shoes. And I look forward to reading your comments. All right. That's it, folks. Seek beauty. Work hard.